Hey y'all, Mia here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Giving y'all a $500 Ulta haul. I went shopping for like TikTok viral products and products that have been on my wish list and also products that I've just been dying to try and I just didn't want to spend money on getting it. And so my best friend took me shopping and he dropped five hundred and something dollars on me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what's your favorite part of this video. Woo, 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 woo. You don't need no other body. I'm gonna start with skincare because look at my skin, babe. Let's take a moment to look at my skin. Okay. First things first, I picked up this Peter Thomas Roth Drenched Hyaluronic Cloud Rich Barrier Moisturizer. Holy, this is so good. It makes your skin like so silky and so smooth. Like watch, look at this. Oh, oh my God, I highly recommend this. It's just like so silky and so perfect. Like 10 out of 10 would recommend. Transformed my skin and has allowed it to be more moisturizing, hydrating. I just love it so much. Next skincare product I got were these Mighty Patch Pimple Patches. I don't really get acne, but when I do, it's typically like hormonal acne and it's like at the chin of my face. So I picked up these. These are hydrocolloid patches. So essentially you use this at nighttime and you just basically clean your skin at night, dry it, put the pimple patch on, don't put any other product on like where the pimple is. And it basically sucks the gunk out of the pimple. This works phenomenally. I've only used it once because I've only had one pimple since I got it, but I highly recommend. And there's 36 patches in here. I think this was $11. So I definitely highly recommend if you have acne, if you suffer from acne, like little spots or whatever, I definitely think you should get this. Next up is another Peter Thomas Roth product. I got this anti-aging cleansing gel. As you can see, I've done some damage. I love this stuff. This was about $38. I would not recommend this if you have sensitive skin. My sister tried it and she said it literally like burned her skin and she like claimed she has sensitive skin even though she tries to freaking use my products all the time, which I don't really understand why, but yeah. I highly recommend. This is a, a anti-wrinkle technology. It helps visibly brighten with glycolic acid, salic acid, and citric acid product. I got the Drunk Elephant Day Serum. I love Drunk Elephant. I've been a Drunk Elephant girly since about 2018. Elephant has been super viral and super popular on TikTok. This basically is just a vitamin C serum to like brighten and tighten your face. It's phenomenal. It is expensive. This is $78, which is like, holy moly, why is it so expensive? And I get it. It's like, natural products they're super viral so y'all don't mind the audio i do have a mic but i kind of hate using it I'm, i'll use it for right now let me go get the mic okay so i have my mic on let me know if the audio is any better or any worse another skincare product i got was this touchland power mist hydrating hand sanitizer this is like a spray hand sanitizer in the berry bliss scent this hand sanitizer is literally like ten dollars, which I'm kind of confused why is it so expensive. But it's super viral on TikTok. It sprays. It smells so good. I have to figure out like what I'm gonna put in this once it runs out because I know I'm not gonna be repurchasing. It's not any. It's just aesthetically pleasing. It's pink. The packaging is cute. That's the only difference I can find in like repurchasing this. Otherwise, I don't think it's worth rebuying at all. Let's move on to fragrance. I picked up the Sol de Janeiro Body Mist. I actually have this one in storage. I've used this one before. I've used all of them except for the 68 and the most recent one that came out that everyone says has been attracting spiders. But I got the Boom Dia, which is 40. And I also got the original 62. 40 smells like plum with vanilla. And honestly, it smells like a sister of Baccarat Rouge that really expensive perfume that my mom freaking has. This is Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. This is a three fluid ounce, which is pretty good. I keep that in my work bag. And I also got 62, which is pistachio and caramel. As you can see, I've been using it up because like, look at it. And it has like really cute packaging, which packaging is so important. I feel like, especially as a brand, if you want to market yourself, literally invest in your packaging because people will just buy stuff because it looks pretty. Also picked up the larger size, which is a eight fluid ounce of the black amber plum. I believe this is 30, 
dollars and the small ones are $24. Next up, I love Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande is one of my favorite artists. She's also the only person in like music that I listen to, even though I'm trying not to listen to music anymore. But I did get the Mod Blush by Ariana Grande. This is her most recent fragrance that came out. I love her cloud. It smells phenomenal. That's like my favorite scent. I also have the pink, I don't know what it's called right now, but it's like the pink with like texture. I'll enter a picture. But this is the one ounce of the Mod Blush. It smells super good. It is $48. And the notes are raspberry, passion fruit, pink pepper, bergamot. Middle notes are rose, pear, magnolia. Magnolia is one of my favorite words. And base notes are musk, amber, amber waxen, dreamwood, and sandalwood. It smells so good. I can't really put my finger on the comparison of it, but it's like a sweeter version of like a Chanel perfume, honestly. And it's such a cute packaging. Also, it's pink, my favorite color, and the box is pink. Love, love, love. I love perfumes because they last longer, plus the bottles are always cuter. Okay, so next up is hair care. I picked up these Biro Way products. If you're on TikTok, you've seen every like girl use these. I got the fine hair conditioner, the fine hair and shampoo, and I also got the scalp and body scrub and the St. Bart scent. This shit is amazing. It makes my skin, it makes my scalp feel super, super clean. I love the scent of the conditioner and the shampoo. It's a very light, clean scent. It also is very thin, which I really like because my hair is very fine. So it's not something that's heavy and that weighs my hair down and it's pretty watery. I've been actually on a hunt for a deep conditioner. So if y'all have any recommendations, please let me know. The bottles are also very minimalistic and aesthetically pleasing, so I could see why this definitely will go viral. Um, this is pretty expensive. My hair conditioner shampoo are $32 each. These are pretty expensive, but I love them, and, and I know it will last a pretty long time for me because I only wash my hair like twice a month, maybe three times if I do knotless braids, but I don't really wash my hair that often, so I know this will last me at least like six, seven months, which I'm super grateful for. And it smells so good and it looks so pretty in the bathroom. So picked up the Way Scalp and Body Scrub. This smells so good. Like it's such a nice clean scent, but it's also like citrusy and you can like see the sugar in it. They probably use like some type of like larger grain, like cane sugar. Mm, it smells super good. It leaves my scalp feeling super clean and super fresh. You can use this for your scalp and for your body. I've always wanted a scalp scrub just because I felt like I always had like gunk still in my scalp. And now that I finally have one, I'm so grateful to have one. And I actually feel like my scalp is getting clean. So highly recommend. This is also pretty pricey. I'll insert the price on the screen. But yeah, I love this so much. I don't know if I would repurchase it just because pricing wise, the only thing so far that I can say that I would definitely repurchase would be the Peter Thomas Roth moisturizer and the Sol de Janeiro. The last section is makeup. I am not a big makeup wearer. Unfortunately, I know this is where like, this is like every girl's, every person, whoever wears makeup, holy grail is like old time Sephora, but I'm just not a big makeup wearer. I'm more of a lip gloss wearer. So I picked up a lot of lip glosses that I wear every single day, multiple times a day. I love lip gloss. Lip gloss is just my thing. I wanted to pick up a Charlotte Tilbury product because she's going, her products are super viral. So sorry, I had a burp. I got the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is supposedly supposed to be like light enough to be a skin tint, but also like give you that skin foundation coverage. I like it. I got the shade 13 warm. So I really like it. It's really lightweight. It also comes on the skin watery, which I like. I have dry skin, so I don't like anything that's cakey or like a thicker feeling just because I want something lightweight because I already have such an extensive skincare routine that's moisturizing. So I don't want something that's super thick. And I like how thin this is. I just did like two squirts on my face right now so I have it on and it's like pretty good coverage I can't lie although I don't have like any blemishes that I need to cover so I wouldn't be the best person to say like coverage wise that this is good because I have pretty much even skin for the most part not all the time trust me not all the time but I really like this this is really like such a small like thing of product though this is like how many ounces I don't even know 
But okay, it's one ounce. This is $49, so basically $50 for a one ounce foundation. Is that a typical foundation amount? Because that sounds pretty freaking insane. I can't lie. But um, we've passed it. Excuse me, $49. My water because holy shit, I've been talking so much. Mm. I also did get a Stanley cup overrated. It's just a cup. Honestly, I don't really see the big deal out of it. Yeah, it fits in my car, but otherwise I don't, I don't get it because it doesn't keep my eyes frozen. I'm going to contact them and I think I got like a faulty one. I had to because my eyes doesn't stay frozen and like hair and different shit can like gets in between here. Like it's really weird. Sorry, off topic. Next up are the lip products that I picked up. I, my favorite brand is their Pat McGrath. I love Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath is literally... She's that girl. She's, she's just that girl. So I don't know if this is her Bridgerton collection, but first of all, let's take a moment for the packaging. Her packaging is insanely always beautiful, always 10 out of 10, always 10s across the board. I had picked up this lip gloss in the color Entranch. I get to wear this just because I want to wear it for something special because it is a lipstick. Look at the packaging. It has a little bow on it. Bows are my thing. They're super cute. This is like a mauve -y. Obviously, I'm going to swatch everything and show y'all. This is like a really pretty like mauve -y, like... I don't really know how to describe it, but this is, like, my color. Like, this is the color that I aim for whenever I get do lips. This is my color. This is what I like. This is what I prefer. This is what I feel is best for me. I don't really know if I like the peach packaging. I would rather, like, white or pink, but I'm not a stickler for it. I'd just rather something different just because of the colors. Like, I don't know. It kind of throws me off. Like, I don't know if that's so specific, but this, like, really throws me off that this is peach. Like, the packaging. But she always, she always does amazing in packaging. So beautiful. And it's pink. I'm going to keep this box for, like, as long as I can just because it's so beautiful. Like, it, I don't know if this is a Bridgerton collection, but if it is, ugh, I just love Pat McGrath. If I can get sponsored or if she can just, like, notice me one day and I can model for her, I would literally... I don't want to... I don't, I don't even know what I would do. Next up, I picked up the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the Fuchsia Flex color. This was going super viral on TikTok. It's, like, this really pretty, like, glittery purple color. It's so pretty, so pigmented. I just don't know if this is worth the price just because it is a lip product and you can get so many other lip products for like, you can like get four lip glosses for the price of just this one. So I'm not too sure if I would repurchase this. Although I really love it. It's super pretty, especially on my complexion. I just don't know if I would repurchase, but super pretty, super aesthetic. I love the packaging and I just love how it's like glittery and purple and cute. This is super, super pretty. I don't really remember how much it was, but of course I'll enter on the screen. And this is like long lasting, I feel like. The glitter definitely stays on and it doesn't get sticky, which I also really appreciate when it comes to lip glosses because I hate when lip glosses get sticky or leave that like white marking on your lip. And last things last, I picked up this Benetint Lip and Cheek Rose Stain. This is like liquidy. Like my friend and I, he basically, that's the name that we give in this is Beet Juice. So we basically adopted that term for it. But it does show up on my skin tone. So don't be afraid to get this if you're like our black girl, darker girl, brown girl. If you don't, if you're not like white, don't be scared to get this because it does show up on my skin. It does stay in my skin and it's really pretty. I've been using it for my lips and my cheeks. I think this is really like a product that you can use like if you're on the go and you don't want to do makeup, but you want like some type of like color to your face. I love this. I definitely feel like I would repurchase. Although the only thing I don't like about this product is that like if your lips are dry, it will like bleed through the cracks and just make it look like you just sucked on a popsicle. So, and not in the cute way of sucking on a popsicle, like in a girl like ugh, way kind of sucking on a popsicle. I picked up this fluff up brow wax by Benefit Cosmetics. I am not the biggest Benefit Cosmetics fan. I, I got the, their real mascara and that shit literally pulled out my eyelashes. Like, I don't know how, why, when, but it did. It, like, my eyelashes fell out. So I stopped using that. But this is just like a thinner brow wax. I like this. The only thing is, like, it's a little bit of residue when you brush it onto your actual eyebrow, which I'm not a fan of because I don't want white shit that looks like glue on my brows. But I like this. Would I repurchase this? No, I feel like it's overpriced and I feel like the product is, like, you can just use an e.l.f. product, honestly. Like, all brow gels, to me, brow waxes are basically the same. And as long as they keep them up, I don't really care. And I also have to find myself, like, reapplying this, even though it says it's a 12-hour wear. I don't know if it's because I'm in the South and it's super hot. I don't know what it is, but I have always found myself, like, reapplying this. So, 
I don't really know if this will be a reach purchase. I don't think so. I am happy that I had the opportunity to try it, but I don't know if it's something that I would want to rebuy. But I want to thank y'all so much for watching my video. Let me know what you think of all the products that I picked up. And if you have tried any of these, the total of this came out to this amount. I'll put it on the screen because I don't remember. But I love you guys so very much and I'm super grateful. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you so much for 250 subscribers. I am so appreciative and I'm so grateful. And thank you so much, Ryan, for buying all of these products for me. He, he is the absolute most kindest, nicest guy, friend, bestie I've ever had. So I'm super grateful. And I'm, I owe him a million thank yous. Like he's super kind and super nice. And I'm so appreciative of all these things. And I know this is very unrealistic. I don't even shop like this anymore. I used to be really realist with my money until I actually had bills, but I'm so grateful for these. I couldn't even be more, I don't need anything else, honestly. So I couldn't be more happy and grateful. And I just love self-care shopping and skincare shopping and everything. Bye. Love you. Thank you.